In the wake of excess holiday socialization, travel, and sugar plum consumption, there's nothing sweeter than throwing yourself down the abyss of a new video game. Yet for some gamers, this indulgence crosses the line into the realm of compulsion. Now, researchers have rolled in the brain scanners to see exactly what's happening. A new study from the University of Utah School of Medicine and South Korea's Chung Ang University employed magnetic resonance imaging on 106 boys ages 10 to 19, all of them seeking treatment for internet gaming disorder. We're talking a level of compulsive starcrafting and minecrafting here that might make you forget to eat and sleep. The researchers then compared the findings to 80 boys without the disorder to see just how the neural wiring differed. And here's the crazy thing, most of the differences in the compulsive gamer brains were beneficial. Specifically, the researchers observed enhanced coordination between hearing and vision processing networks and the so-called salience network that focuses attention and preps the individual to take action. That means enhanced reaction time to both real and virtual threats and an increased ability to pick key bits of information from all the noise drifting through our daily lives. However, the researchers warned that this increased neural efficiency might be inseparable from one negative aspect of the compulsive gamer mind, increased connectivity between the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the temporoparietal junction. It's the same distinction researchers find in the brains of individuals with schizophrenia, Down syndrome, autism, and poor impulse control. But which came first, the Yoshi or the egg? While this US Korean study published in Addiction Biology is the largest and most comprehensive of its kind, the researchers stress that much work needs to be done. We don't know whether compulsive gaming alters the brain or if the individual's already unique neural connections just make them that much more susceptible to League of Legends enslavement. So how does your neural architecture line up with these findings? Put down that controller and let us know. Hey, and if you want more weird science goodness, be sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com each and every day.